Nin explains the rules of roller derby. The object of the game is to score more points than the opposing team. Roller derby is a sport played on skates either on a flat track or on a banked track where the track is raised and angled. A roller derby team consists of 14 players with five players taken to the track at any one time. Look closely and you'll notice a group of each players pushed together. Both teams will field four blockers and this is collectively known as the pack. Teams cannot be more than 10 feet apart in this pack. The key person to look out for is the jammer. These are the players with stars on their helmets that start behind the pack. When the whistle blows, the clock starts for a period of two minutes. This is known as a jam. The goal of the jammer is to race the opposing team's jammer to try and force their way through the pack of players. Once a jammer has beaten the other jammer, they become the lead jammer and they race around the track. Each jammer gets one point for every opposing player that they lap or skate past. Once two minutes have expired, the whistle blows and that is the end of the jam. However, a jam can also be ended early by the lead jammer by tapping her hips like this. It pays to be the lead jammer as you effectively have control of the clock. The whole process starts all over again and the main strategy behind this game is for the lead jammer to score as many points as possible and to stop the clock before the other jammer scores too many points. The job of the blockers is to prevent the other jammer from getting past, whilst at the same time trying to help their own jammer pass opposing players. They are both the offense and the defense. They are allowed to form walls with teammates, slow the opposing player down, and use their hips and shoulders to lever their opponents out of the way. The game is played in two 30 minute halves for a combined playing time of 60 minutes. High score at the end of time wins. That's the basics of roller derby, but there's a few other things that you'll need to know before playing or watching a game. For example, pivot. One of the blockers on each team will be wearing a stripe on their helmets. These are the pivots. As well as being a blocker, they dictate the pace of the pack and they direct the team's strategy. They also have the special ability to become a jammer in the middle of the jam. This is done by taking the star from the jammer. Out of bounds. You cannot skate out of the area of the track, accidentally or otherwise. If you do, you must re-enter the track behind the opposing team's pivot. Contact. Contrary to popular belief, you cannot punch, trip, kick, elbow, clothesline, hit or slam your opponent into the floor. Officially, players are allowed to make frontal and side body contact above the knees. But sometimes, players don't comply. Players who make illegal contact are given penalties. Penalty. If found guilty of breaking the rules, the referee may award a 30 second penalty against a player. The offending player must sit in a penalty box for 30 seconds whilst the jam is in play. If a skater accrues seven penalties, they are immediately disqualified from the game. Power Jam. If a jammer is hit with a 30 second penalty, the opposing jammer has 30 seconds to score as many points as she can, knowing that the other team cannot score. This is known as a power jam and can be a real advantage to a team. If you found this video at all helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. If you're also on Reddit, you can post this video and discuss it there. But in the meantime, enjoy Roller Derby.